All right, so warm up 93 is done. It was to uh, sketch a bell curve, find the Z score for eight. Uh, digits uh, or numbers 4, 8, 30, 16, 12, and 20. And then we got compute uh, 11 factorial divided by 9 factorial. Now let me show you a little trick on that one. Look up to the screen. Watch. 11 factorial divided by 9 factorial is the same as 11 factorial divided by 9 factorial. Is that correct? So question. Isn't 11 factorial 11 times 10 times 9, right? And 9 factorial is 9 times 8 and so on and so forth. So can I write 11 times 10 times 9 factorial over 9 factorial? Yeah, because this becomes a what? A 1. So what is 10 times 11? 1 10. Hands if you got that. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we got this. Minimum day ain't got nothing on us. Copy the agenda. Warm-up number 93, per, uh, permutation rule. And tonight's home play, only three problems. All right. Once again, warm-up 93. We're moving on to permutation. And uh, tonight's home play, only three problems. Only I don't know, it, it, like, uh, when it comes to teaching and teaching math, I, I just, like, feel like it really flows through me. I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like uh, you guys have, like, a niche at something, right? Some of you like sleeping a lot. There you go. It, that's how it feels. <laughs> no, like, some of you that are gamers, right, when you get into a flow, that, that's how it feels. Like, Bam! All right, so here we go. Make sure you put away your AirPods. Bye. All right, copy the code, C-D-A-V-K, C-D-A-V-K. I'm going to include the uh, home play in this presentation, so like that, uh, you don't have to go searching your textbook. However, if you don't copy the code, then just go get your text. It should be in there. C-D-E, C-D-A-V-K. All right, so la last time we had eight counting rule problems. You did those, bless you. And then yesterday we did some uh, work in class. And then uh, now we get to three problems of permutation. So I'll show you those at the end. So our objective for today, I can identify and compute problems with the permutation rule. I can identify and compute problems with a permutation rule. Permutation. I'm going to give you like a quick definition in a little bit. You don't have to copy it, just so that you understand where we're headed. And uh, my coffee's already kicking in, plus I'm trying to uh, save spaces between words like that. It's going to sound like if I'm going faster, which I'm not. Once again, I can identify and compute problems with a permutation rule. Permutation. So. Where have we been? Probability, we know what it is. We talked about classical empirical sub subjective. So we now go from fundamental counting rule to permutation rule. And which is the last rule that we're going to be left with? It's the combination rule. So right now in the, we're in the second tier of our uh, counting rules. So permutation, what does that mean? An arrangement of n objects in a specific order. Don't copy that, but pay attention. Let's say um, I bought a bag of M&Ms, right? And an average, a bag of M&Ms has about 21 M&Ms in it. Everybody following so far? So let's say there's a total of how many? 21 M&Ms in there. And I said, what is the probability of getting a red, a blue, and a yellow? Let me repeat that again. Getting a what? A red, a blue, and a yellow. In any order? No, in that order. Red, blue, and yellow. So permutation means finding out how many different ways or, how, or what is the probability of getting uh, that probability in that specific order. Red, blue, and yellow. Okay? So you're like, okay. Anyways, 
copy the formula for today. <laughs> I think uh, I, I envision a formula pop parte coming up. What do you guys think? Diego, what do you think? Let's go. Bring it. Diego for Presidente. So it reads, permutation rule, the arrangement of n objects in a specific order using r objects at a time is called a permutation of n objects taking r objects at a time. So, just to be specific, here it goes. Circle the letter n, and just for r sake, we're going to say total of objects. And in red, box the letter R. Specific objects. So, just a quick example make a little pouch over here of MMs. How many total M&Ms did I say were in the uh, in the bag? 21, right? So where would that go? In the N or the R? N, that is correct. And then I said I wanted to find out uh, how many different ways can I pick the three that I called for, the three different colors. Where would that three go? on the what? On the R, that is correct. All right, so I'm gonna move on. You have the code where you can go to the presentation if you're following behind, here we go. So, copy this problem, example number one, and it reads, the advertising director for a television show has, an, has seven ads to use on the program. If she selects one of them from the opening of the show, one for the middle of the show, and one for the ending of the show, how many possible ways can be accomplished? All right, copy that, please. I'll give you some time. Go. All right, here we go. So it reads, the advertisement director for a television show has seven ads to uh, use on the program. If she selects one of them for the opening, one for the middle, and one for the end, how many possible ways? Well, step one is write our, our uh, rule, permutation rule. So the permutation rule of n to the r is equal to n factorial over parentheses n minus r factorial. Is that correct? Let me make sure that I got it right. Oh, yeah. So. Now that we have our rule, first we need to find out the total total of totals. So, how many total ads were there, everyone? Seven. So we're going to label this one n. Next, we need to talk about the specific items. How many ads do they need? Let's see, one for the opening, one for the middle, and one for the end. So how many total specific ones? Three. So this would be our R is three. And the rest is history. Here we go. Seven, three, therefore, seven factorial, and then underneath, we got seven minus three, so this is seven factorial over four factorial.
So let's use the little shortcut that I showed you. Look up. 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over 4 factorial. Do you guys see it? If you don't, then write it out. Write it completely out. Times 3 times 2 times 1. 4 times 3 times 6 times 1. Therefore, 4 factorial, 4 factorial is 1. What is 5 times 6 times 7? 200 and what? 10. Therefore, let's write a statement. There are 210 ways of selecting add in that specific way, which means one at the beginning or opening, one in the middle, one in the end, 10 Q. From one to five, I'll come to where you with that. Four is five, four is five, okay, not bad. All right, let me send you the screen, send me your notes. And once you send that in, copy number two. It's a school musical director can select two musical plays to present next year. One will, will be presented in the fall, and one will be presented in the spring. If she has nine to pick from, how many different possibilities are there? This one's written a little bit different, so copy it first, so you can have this as an example as well. And then we're going to go through this one together. Okay. Nope. The way you want it to know. All right. Once again, it says, the school musical director can select two musical plays to pre present next year. One will be in the fall and one will be in the spring. If she has nine to pick from, how many different possibilities? All right. So we first write our permutation rule. Here we go. P. And R, N factorial over N minus R factorial. Okay. So, read it again and talk it over with your neighbor. Let them know which one will be our N. Which one will be our N? Which one will be our N, Dylan? A nine, that is correct. This is our N. So here we're going to write nine, which means what's going to be our R, everyone? Two, that is correct. And the rest is history. So this would be nine factorial, nine minus two factorial. So this is nine factorial over seven factorial. So this is 9 times 8 times 7 factorial. I'm going to leave it at 7 factorial. Oh, sorry. Put I for imaginary. No. So that leaves us with 72 ways. Therefore, there are 72 possibilities. Abilities. 10 Q. From 1 to 5, I'll come to where you with this so far. Okay. Send me your notes, please. Ooh -wee. Oh, we got this. You're like, Q, just give us a pop part and let's go. <laughs> All right, so as you're sending that in, problem number three, don't copy it. Just write example three, start from the formula, from the formula. Identify your N, identify your R, and answer the question in this statement, please. 
And it reads, an inspector must select three tests to, for, to perform in a certain order on a manufactured part. He has a choice of seven tests. How many ways can be performed? Uh, how many ways can he perform three different tests? I'll give you a head start. Cop, uh, go. All right. Here's this one from one of your colleagues. Check your work. This. And did you got that? All right. Yeah, we got this, right? One last one. Here we go. Example number four. How many different ways can a city health department inspector visit five restaurants in a city with ten restaurants? So, once again, you don't have to copy the problem. Start with your formula. And let me send you the screen so you can send me your work as soon as you're done. Shouldn't take you long. Go. Take your work. It looks about right. Let me just zoom in here for uh, those that are following on YouTube. There it is. 10 to the P of R. So 10 factorial over 10 minus 5 factorial. 10 over 5 factorial. So 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 is 30,240 different ways, yes? All right, not bad. Therefore, from one to five, I'll come you with the uh, permutation rule. Five, there's a home play on your screen. I'm gonna stop the video here for those of you that are following on YouTube, and that'll give you time to finish these in class so you don't have any home play. And once again, those of you that are following on YouTube, enjoy your practice. See you guys later, bye.